most of the day. Very rarely does a giraffe lay down on the ground. That's when they're the most vulnerable to predators. They only sleep for about 30 minutes a day. Three minutes a day? Giraffes on top of their heads will have Aussie cones. Those aren't actually horns, though. It's just skin covered bone. It's too bad they're not closer because they know they can go wherever they want. As so we continue through here, we'll see only some mantras around here. They are very shy and reclusive animals, though. Look over on our left. Let's see if we might spot a few banjos around. There is one on top of the rock, behind the rocks there. There's a few off. There lie off. You see the elephant on your right as well. Elephants weigh up to 14,000 pounds. That's a male elephant. You can tell male elephants live on their own once they reach adulthood. Female elephants form herds along with their young. See the elephant again on the right side. Now, an elephant's greatest tool is its trunk. The trunk will contain thousands of muscles. And at the bottom, you'll notice two finger like appendages used for grabbing food and water. They also like to throw water, grass, dirt, and mud on their backs so they can stay cool during hotter days. We'll see more elephants up ahead. The elephant herd. Elephants are still threatened, and their greatest threat are humans. Poaching or illegal hunting for their ivory tusks it continues to be a problem to this day. And as humans and elephants start to share the same land and resources, it does lead to conflict. Which is why our researchers are trying their best to understand how elephants communicate with one another. So that way we are better able to understand elephants and better able to protect them. We're going to be driving through these red clay pits and elephants on occasion will eat red clay to get minerals in their diet. As you look on your right side, you'll see some tusk marks. So they have been around. I see the elephant herd on our left. Uh, let me see if I can find us a radio station to listen to as we were waiting to view those elephants. Now up ahead on our right next to the Baobab tree, we'll also want to see the reticulated giraffe. That is the tallest giraffe in the world, the tallest land animal in the world, able to reach heights of 20 feet. Gets this name from the Latin word reticulata, meaning net, a reference to the pattern that you'll run a scene. No two drafts have the very same pattern, very unique to each individual draft. A giraffe's heart weighs about 25 pounds and is two and a half feet long, and their tongue's 18 inches long and completely black. Surprisingly though, a giraffe has the same number of egg vertebrae as we do. We both have seven. Of course, theirs are much longer and larger than ours. Now, 
Well, young elephants will live next to their mothers for about 15 years or so. But that does not include a 22 month gestation period. That's almost two years. That is the longest in the entire animal kingdom. We just need everyone to remain seated, please. We continue on. We'll see some greater flamingos on our left side. When a flamingo hatches, it's actually gray. It does not get that pink color you see there. Until about a year later, it is from their diet, which consists of Brian Shrimp. Brian Shrimp will have carotene, is that carotene is going to turn those feathers pink. Now it does sound like our radio signal has faded away, but Hakuna Matata, no worries. And here's some mud wallows and hopefully the white rhino. So the white rhino is still threatened despite countless efforts to protect them as poachers develop newer, more sophisticated ways to hunt and capture animals. It becomes increasingly more difficult to protect them. Even on some of Africa's most well known reserves now, there's the white rhino, including the baby white rhino there. White rhinos can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. And as you can see, the white rhino is not actually white. It gets its name due to a misinterpretation of the Afrikaans word by meaning wide. In reference to their wide square mouth. Biggest difference between the white rhino and the black rhino, the size and shape of their mouths. The white rhino likes to bathe in the mud so they can stay cool during hotter days. This is called a kopi. It is the home of some of the bigger cats in Africa, such as lions. Lions can be very inactive during the day. Usually they're resting and sleeping, usually 18 to 20 hours of the day. And at the evening and at night, that's when lions are the most active. It's the female lions, the lionesses that do the hunting for the pride. Male lions serve mainly as a protector. Now the darker lion's mane is, the more mature he tends to be. Oh, he's sleeping. See the lion? As we look on our right, we're also going to see zebra. Zebras are black with white stripes. And they're actually pretty aggressive. They've been known to kick and their fat hooves have enough power to break a lion's jaw. A lion's roar can be heard from about six miles away. And the Swahili word for lion is Simba. They have the lion right by They just take it. They're not even worried about it. It's supposed to be on the wild, so. We should have some, you know. They're already fed. Yeah, right. Oh, Look on our left, you'll see some warthogs. Oh, our spurling animal in Africa. Where? You see him? Where? See another white rhino over on our right. Now, white rhinos tend to live in small family units. We'll see the zebra again as well. And the Bonsi Bok Brothers brown and slow. Sadly, for Bonsi Bok, completely extinct out in the wild, only found on reserves such as this one. Bonsi Bok and zebra. 
can learn to walk and stand within a few minutes from birth. Now, uh, those white rhino might appear to be slow because they are so large, but they can charge at a speed of 35 miles per hour with that horn. If we look over on our right, we'll see an ostrich, the largest bird in the world. If I'm a flightless bird, they can run pretty fast at a speed of up to 40 miles per hour. Ostriches with those black feathers are male. Ostriches with gray feathers are female. Now the area of the reserve up here is for reintroduction purposes and as animals lose habitat due to construction or livestock farming, we try our best to bring animals back into their natural habitats. At one time we did have the zebra over here. And it appears that now we have addicts, spelled A D D A X. Sadly, the addicts are almost completely extinct in the wild. Only 300 are remaining currently. And addicts can go months, years, or even their entire lives without drinking a single drop of water. Instead, an addict survives off of the food they consume, mainly grass, and the trace amounts of water contained within that food. Now imagine having to share your home with some of the animals that we have seen here today. Wild predators such as those lions threaten the lives and livelihoods of the people living near this reserve. And historically some of these animals have been a source of food. So it is important that our conservation efforts not only protect and benefit the animals here, but also benefit the people that are living here as well, which is why Many organizations are doing their part to help by finding alternative ways to protect the livestock without endangering the wildlife and by also finding more economic solutions that will be turned And in this way, both animals and humans survive and thrive in the great circle of Sadly, our journey is just about at its end, so I'm going to be dropping y'all back on that nearest board and exposed from my traditions and short walks back to Harambe Village. We may for a couple of those, yeah? There are not. Okay. If you're looking for more adventure, I recommend you check out the Pangani Exploration Forest Trail. Yeah. You're going to see an underwater viewing area of those hippos. There's also silverback.